So Airtable has a great auto number field type that automatically creates a unique number for each record that you create. The main drawback is that you can't have a uniform digit length. So for example, if you want your digits in your unique code to always be four digits long, so if it's number one, it's gonna be zero, 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 one, um, you know, et cetera, down the line, which is often kind of what you want in a uniform serial number, um, Airtable won't automatically do that for you. But we can do it ourselves with a simple formula. I actually found this method from Andy Lin in the Airtable community forum, so shout out, thank you, Andy. All right, so hopping into our example, I've got a simple inventory base here where I've got a list of different products and some characteristics about them. And then I've got my auto number field here and a serial number that I've created from it. And so you can see now we've got this nice uniform four digit number. And if you've watched any of my videos, you've probably heard me talk about how the primary field here should always be unique. And that's a super important kind of best practice for uh, when you're linking records. And so we're gonna write a formula to recreate this serial number over here in the product ID field. So I'm actually just gonna delete these two so we can start from scratch. And so the first thing we'll do is create our auto number field. So we'll call this auto number and we'll make it an auto number field type. Now that we've got our number here, we need to add the appropriate zeros. So I'm gonna open up the product ID. And right now this is already a formula which is concatenating the color field and the product type field with the space in between. And I wanna add my serial number to the beginning of this. So it's gonna say like 0001 color product type. So to do this, we're gonna use the right formula. And so the right formula works by taking a slice off of the right side of any piece of text. And, and the slice that it takes is equal to the number of characters that you specify. And so if I want to have a four digit serial number, what I wanna do first is put some quotations and then put four zeros in quotations. This is our string of text that we're gonna then take a slice out of because next I'm gonna add an ampersand and then put the auto number here and then a comma. So what this is saying is that we're gonna take the right side of the combination of four zeros and that auto number. So for example, for the one, this is right now is a five digit number that says 00001. And then I've got a comma here and then I'm gonna say how many uh, digits to take a slice of, I'm gonna say four. And so what that does is now, instead of saying 00001, it's gonna take everything except for that leftmost zero, right? And, and make sure that it's a four digit number. And if that auto number was two digits, then it's gonna slice off everything but the first two zeros, and so you're always gonna have a four digit number. So now let's add an ampersand here, and let's see, a space, got our ampersand, hit save, and now we've got our nice serial number. So that was a quick one. If you wanna learn more about the importance of primary fields and why it's always best practice to make them unique, then check out this video here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.